This is part one of my videos uh, building a robot from four hoverboard motors. Um, one thing first, I'm from Germany and my English is not so very well, so sorry for that. So I want to build a little robot with four of these standard 6.5 inch uh, hoverboard motors. Uh, the robot will later look like uh, similar to that schematic over there. Um, to control these uh, motors, uh, I'm using these little Chinese brushless BLDC controller boards. I buy them for eight dollars. It's a um, very good price, but there is a um, uh, point. Um, so this board uh, is not so uh, optimal uh, for the use in a high dynamic robot. It's uh, very good uh, for using in a uh, personal uh, transportation project like an e-bike or a scooter or something like that. Um, the reason is uh, the, uh, the controller will do not break the uh, hoverboard motor. It's freewheeling. It's every time there's no current for acceleration, it will be freewheeling. So that means if you have a high uh, speed on the on the wheel and you want to change the direction, you have to wait until it stops by itself and then uh, there's a specific dead time by this little uh, Chinese uh, controller chip from uh, 0.5 seconds and after that you can change the direction. So you l lose a, a large amount of time if you wait until it stops by itself the wheel and then you drive in the another direction. So what I do to fix this problem is I build my own brake. I build my own brake for this uh, hoverboard uh, motor and um, this brake is right over there. It's not a mechanical brake, it's an electrical brake um, um, and zwar done by these three MOSFET transistors. Um, after stopping the acceleration, so uh, um, give uh, the gate uh, uh, an input so it will uh, shorten the three lines of the hoverboard motor to the ground. You, know, you see these are the three hoverboard uh, motor lines and these are the three lines to the MOSFET and over there it's, uh, it's uh, coming to the ground. You see the copper lines there. Um, on this way I got a um, more dynamic so I can stop uh, very quick the, the, uh, the, uh, the wheel the, uh, and uh, can very quickly change direction and so I can uh, have a, a more dynamic as without, these, uh, uh, without the brake. Okay, this is the first part, the first video uh, with the explanation of the setup. You can see um, my controller over there, standard controller, 80 mega with an LCD display for um, visualizing some um, values, the MOSFET bridge, the Chinese controller board, and everything is, um, is operating with 20 and 2 volt. 10 amp. Okay, um, please read the description sometime later because I will put more information to the description to the video so you can uh, find out some more details like what type of MOSFET I'm using and something like that. Okay, so this was part one.